to come. We're excited now to be offering a course entitled The Day the Revolution Began, Rethinking the Meaning of Jesus' Crucifixion. Isn't that a bit of an odd title, you might say? What is this stuff about a revolution? Well, according to pretty much all the early Christians for whom we have evidence, something happened on the first Good Friday when Jesus of Nazareth was crucified, as a result of which a revolution started. The world was a different place. Nobody seemed to have realised that until Jesus rose from the dead three days later. But pretty soon after that, they figured out that something had happened when Jesus died on the cross which had transformed the cosmic landscape, the human landscape, the set of possibilities for what human beings were, for what nations were, for the way the whole world was going. This was an extraordinary thing, and each time the New Testament writers mention it, they seem to say something slightly different from one another and slightly different from the last time they said it themselves. So generations of Christians have puzzled over what in fact we ought to say about the crucifixion. Different theories have come up. They've never actually been ratified by some great church council, but there are lots of different doctrines of the cross or doctrines of the atonement, and many Christians get puzzled. Isn't it enough just to believe that Jesus died for me? Do I have to worry about all these other things? The answer is, well, it's okay, that's great, to believe that Jesus died for you. But actually, the New Testament invites us into a deeper and richer appreciation of what actually happened on that first Good Friday and what it meant that that day a revolution began into which we are invited to join, not only as beneficiaries, but actually as participants. So, I hope you enjoy this course. There's a great deal to learn from it. I have learned a great deal in the preparation of it and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I have.